Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the Duex Plus portable display that you can attach to the back of your laptop that you can pull out to create this dual display setup and this can even power on and power off by itself when you pull it out. This is also removable from the back of your laptop. So this display comes in three sizes, Duex Lite, which is 12.1 inches. This is Duex Plus, 13.3 inches. There is the Duex Max, which is 14.1 inches. The resolution is 1080p. This, by the way, is a review unit provided by the company. However, all the opinions in this review are mine. In this review, I'm just going to present to you my findings and you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. And at the time of making this review, the pricing for the small, medium and large displays are US $220, $260 and $280 on Mobile Pixel's website. These displays are also available on Amazon, so you can check out more reviews over there. Let me just give you the bottom line up front. Having a dual display setup is always useful and this product works as advertised. It's quite convenient to have a display that you can pull out from behind your laptop. And this supports USB-C and USB-A connection and there is power pass through so you can use the display while you are charging the laptop. The main downside for me would be the color support which is just 68% as RGB from what I have measured, so with a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the colors are not as vibrant compared to the LCD on the MacBook Air. The minor downside would be the 1080p resolution, so there will be slight pixelation on this 13.3 inch display. These are the items included in the box. There is the setup guide, extra double-sided stickers for the Magnex, the user guide, alcohol wipe, and this cable. This USB-C is going to the display. On the other end, we have another USB-C with a USB Type-A attachment. So this will allow you to use either USB-C or USB-A. Let's look at the display before we attach this to the laptop. And this is the side to attach to the laptop. There are four metal plates on this side with removable magnets and these are quite strong. This is the back of the display. There are buttons for the brightness and OSD, that's the Mobile Pixels logo. This thicker part here is where the hinge is. Let's see how you can pull out the display. So you hold the thicker part here and just slide this out. And when you push it back, you have to make sure this extruded part here goes into the groove or holder here, like this. If you don't slide it into the groove, this can happen as you push the display back. So this is not secure and you can damage the display. For this video, I will be attaching the display to this 13.3 inch MacBook Air. And the size of this display with the housing is almost exactly the same as the macbook air maybe it's slightly wider by half a centimeter by the way this macbook air actually has a plastic case over it so i'll be attaching the display on this plastic case i'll be using the display on the left side of the laptop so i need to align this part here where the display is exposed to the left edge of the laptop before that, I need to push all the magnets to the side where the display is and remove the tape on the magnet. So now I'm just going to flip this over, align it to the left edge and align the whole thing properly and press it down. So this of course is going to make your laptop much thicker and because I have a casing on the MacBook Air, it's even thicker. But the display itself is actually quite thin. The only thicker parts would be the left and right sides. So let's see how this works. Now this display is going to add more weight to your laptop, especially the cover here. Let's see how effective this design is. So let's pull out the secondary display. It slides out quite easily. And once it reaches the end, you have to pull it out some more so that 
the entire housing behind with the movable magnets can slide out even further so that you can turn this secondary display towards you if you want to tilt the laptop display down so that it's more comfortable for your eyes the weight of the secondary display may actually pull this uh, laptop display down so you may want to use this more vertically and also when you have the laptop display down all the way you can see this display may actually just move down like that so let me just tilt this up and push this closer to me the hinge is strong enough to hold this secondary display at this angle but again if the laptop display is further down it's difficult to hold this display at this angle let's attach the cable oh there is a sticker that i did not peel off earlier let me just remove that and attach the usb-c to this usb connector which is labeled and on this side i'll be using usb-c so one issue is there is no easy way to store the cable okay the laptop is providing power for the external display so this is going to drain the laptop battery faster how much faster i cannot say because it depends on the brightness of the display thankfully you can actually attach an additional power source to charge the laptop through the display and the charging speed will be limited by your charger so the cable doesn't look that nice in front if your USB-C port is on the right side you can have the cable go behind so in this case I may just want to push the cables behind like this anyway I'm not too fussy about cable management because dual display productivity trumps cable clutter colors on this display look all right out of the box i've already color calibrated the display and i measured color support for 68 percent as rgb and a maximum brightness of 152 nits the brightness is sufficient for use in a bright room environment provided you have curtains as for the colors uh, i can see the colors are definitely not as vibrant compared to the lcd display on the macbook air the colors here are more vibrant more specifically the red and the orange um, they are really punchy however on the dux plus display the colors are muted and not as vibrant and the contrast is also not as good as a visual content creator the downside of this display for me would be the color accuracy so this display is not going to be suitable for work that requires color accuracy but if you are just going to be using this as an extended display to show more content uh, for productivity i think it works great uh, this is good for use with documents maybe you can watch some videos um, when i'm writing the review for this product i can have the information on the left side and write my review on the right side so i minimize scrolling and it really helps me save a lot of time when i don't have to scroll as much and when i don't have to switch tabs all the time this display actually has pretty good viewing angles with minimal color shift anyway you can tilt or turn the display towards you to get the best color and when i tilt it all the way back you may hear this clicking sound so i'm not sure what that is hopefully the hinge is durable because you are actually using the hinge to pull out the display and you are using the hinge to turn the display the display has a matte textured surface so at least you don't have to deal with reflections thankfully display resolution is just 1080p on a 13.3 inch display so there will be noticeable pixelation 1080p resolution is still very usable so this is not a very big downside for me regarding the usb-a if you want to use a computer that does not have a usb-c port you can use usb-a you just need to install a driver so let's test out the usb-a connection you know what let me just remove this from the laptop so 
This can be removed easily from the laptop because the magnets are detachable. This is my other laptop. This, by the way, is the LG Gram 2022, a review unit from LG, which I'm going to review very soon. So in this case, the USB-A port is on the right side, so I can have the cable go behind so that it's neater. This is a neater setup compared to the MacBook Air setup earlier. And I have already installed the driver, so this is just going to work like an extended display. If you want to, you can actually buy extra magnets from the company so that you can use this with your other laptops. There are still some issues with displaying very vibrant orange and red, so it's difficult to see the different layers here. Let's flip this all the way to the back so that I can hold the display like this. Let's see if there is any latency issues with the USB-A connection and it looks all right there is the typical 60 hertz chatter but it looks very responsive to me if you have a 15 or 16 inch laptop you may want to get a larger display the bigger model is 14.1 inches this video is not complete without comparing duex plus to standalone displays the pros for standalone displays are you get a larger variety of displays to choose from in terms of size, resolution, color support, the video ports and these are more versatile in the sense that you can use this with laptops as well as with desktops. The downsides for standalone displays compared to DX Plus are depending on where the video ports are you may not be able to get the display to be just beside the laptop display. So in this case I have the video ports here in between so I have the cables in between it's difficult for me to have these two displays just side by side. The pros for Duex Plus are you get this rather seamless dual display setup you can pull the display from behind the laptop which is very convenient and it seems like the display is floating off the table which actually uh, is pretty cool except for the cables which you have to push back to make it look neater. The downsides for me mainly would be the color support. Anyway, you have options. You can either go with this or go with standalone portable displays uh, depending on your budget and of course your preference. All right, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this display. Do you find this design useful? Do you prefer this over standalone displays or standalone displays over this Duex Plus? And if you are interested to buy this, you can find it on Mobile Pixel's online store as well as on Amazon. The links are in the video description below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is useful. See you guys in the next video. Bye.